Hi. More fangs. Yes, Master. I've been waiting for you, boy. Got that new dialogue for this scene? Mm-hmm. Right here. Let me see. Okay. Lara, darling, you and Pops run through these changes. Go ahead. Mr. Von Croft. Crofty boy. Von Croft. Mr. Von Croft. Yeah, oh. I am. Don't be afraid, my dear. There's no need to be afraid of me. You smell of death. Death? I bring you life. Eternal. No, 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 please, no. One no. kiss and you shall join me to live forever. Okay, you got the idea. Do well, you think it'll play, Freddy boy? Oh, I think that Mr. Von Croft could inspire terror just by reciting the alphabet. Oh, uh, you two don't know each other, do you? This is Fred Logan. He wrote the screenplay. Very fine job, Mr. Logan. Uh, Very look, fine Mr. Job. Van Croft, uh, you and Lara go over it again and think up some business, huh? Yes, yes. Uh, you like? Von Croft, he looks great. Oh, never mind him. I mean the set. Oh, the set? Oh. Oh, well, that, that dummy up there, Morty, that looks pretty phony. You know how the boss is about money. You want he should pay 50 bucks to some stunt man just to hang there all day? Morty, mm. these uh, changes you had me make in the scene, why all this dialogue? I, I thought it would play better with just action. Uh, never mind what you thought. I want some close shots of Uncraft. Well, why? It doesn't make any sense. I ain't asking for opinions. What I want is cooperation. And you better give it to me, Freddy boy if you want to keep on eating. All right, all right, quiet, everybody, quiet! Okay, you two know what to do. Now, Lara, you stand over next to the grave. No, 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 not like that! You're supposed to be a high school kid! Like this! <laughs> You're out in a, in a graveyard alone at midnight. Big deal. Well, in the world is a girl doing in a graveyard at midnight and alone yet. Just do like the script calls for. And will you get rid of that gum? Yes, master. <laughs> now, Mr. Van Kraft, when she discovers you in the scene, you are lying in the coffin. Would you mind just trying it for size? How does it feel, okay? Oh, yes, Mr. Lenton. This will be a great picture. A great picture. I've been away a long time. But now, I have come home. There's no need to be afraid of me. 
No one would dare to harm you while I am here. I shall protect you always. The smell of death. Death. I bring you life. Eternal life. One kiss, and you shall join me to live forever. Look at me, look into my eyes. I need your warmth. But the grave is cool, and you are life, and you are mine. Now and for eternity. Oh. <laughs> Sit down, Pops. <laughs> Why are you sitting here in the dark? This is where I belong. In the dark. Alone. Oh, come on now. Come on, it's not that bad. Did you see the picture tonight? Yes. Then you know it is that bad. Hey, what, what do you got there? Souvenirs. Souvenirs of the dead. Look. Remember these? I wore this in my first picture, The Voice of Death. Sure, sure, I remember. And these, the wrappings when I played the mummy. Oh, it was great. It was the greatest. I, I saw it when I was a kid. Yes, and you didn't laugh at me then, did you? No. No, nobody laughed at you then. You were a monster. You were the monster. And now I'm dead. Murdered by a stupid fool named Morty Lent. No, you're not. You're not dead. Monsters never die. I... I believe in you, Von Croft. You... You show... You... You... I tried to stop him. He knocked me down. I hit my head. Where? Where is he? I don't know. But you've got to find him. I... That's how he killed Morty. Uh. 
I don't understand this vampire bit. What was he trying to prove? Something we should have remembered all along, Hal. He was the greatest monster of them all. Thank you.